Giving all praise on the glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhakwadash, the bonus of the apostles, and the oldest great millstone. And it's a serious shalom to the Akin that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. This is going to be an extremely quick video on us, man. This is, um, you know, once again, man, this is, uh, I, for whatever reason, this video, the video don't have nothing to do with, the, the actual video don't have nothing to do with this big man here. It's a football team, man. And, you know, in my mind, I'm like, man, what the hell? You know, in my, the first thought that came in my mind is like, man, what the hell they got Jake doing out there, man? You know, at least give him another goddamn jersey or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But no, knowing Jake, man, they, they like rolling this shit up. But you clearly see that shit don't fit him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they call it they call it confidence because, you know, he's big and this, that, and the other. You know, that's that's part of lying. You know, we, we usually talk about that with the woman because the woman do that a lot. You know, with the B, BBWs and shit. You know, it's always an excuse for them and, you know, you're fat shaming this and you're doing that. And that, and, that, and that's exactly what it is, man. You're fat. You know what I'm saying? Everybody talk about, oh, it's just big. And then you say something about this. Oh, he's just big, man. You need to get big man a shirt. Man, that ain't nothing but fat, man. You know what I'm saying? You're fat. That's just what it is. What's the problem, man? I'm not the, I'm not the smallest myself. And I'll sit up there and say, God damn, man. Getting a little gut, man. That ain't nothing but fat. You know what I'm saying? You see that shit on your arms, man. I'd say that about myself, man. You know, uh, uh, you know, back back when I was bigger. You know what I'm saying? I look at my arms, man. I look at look at you know. I didn't never really had the biggest stomach, you know, but the the weight always went everywhere else and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And before I would be like, man, what the hell is going on, man? Like, this shit ain't nothing but fat. You know what I'm saying? This is fat. What the hell he got Jake? What the hell he got Big Jake doing out here, man? You know what I'm saying? But this is what I'm talking. This is this is the this is the curses, okay? Why don't you see any other nation doing stuff like this on a high skill level, man? You got that got uh, Big X the plug, and you know what I'm saying. Rick Ross used to do this do this stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? It's it, man. You know what I'm saying? You got oh, Jake all over all over YouTube. Always be big. Big jinx with their shirts off and shit, all that shit hanging down. Look, man, when we are a degenerate plant, and this goes to the curses. You know, you know where I'm going at with this. This goes straight to the curses. All right. And a lot of people say, "Oh, you always pull out Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28, the only is not the only one. All right, that talks about this. All you gotta do is look up through through all throughout the Bible." And look at who always got the curses when we went when they went off. Okay, all you gotta and I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures on that. Let me get like two more script, two three more scriptures on that. All you gotta do is look up the, look at the scriptures and how they ended up, man. All right, they ended up they ended up like this, man. They ended up being uh, transformers and stuff like that. The Lord, we are under a serious curse, man. And you can say, well, white people, look, now on a high scale level, you always see Jake do stupid shit like this, man. What the hell is he doing with this? <laughs> you can't make this up, man. Right? Deuteronomy 28 and 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, okay? Among all nations, whether the Lord shall, shall lead thee. This is how we're looked at, man. Especially the men. We're looked at as the worst creatures on the planet, even towards our own women. But then you got the woman looked at as the worst, the worst women on the planet. So we're the both, we're the worst, we're looked at as the worst people on the face of the earth right now. And honestly, we are. But that is beside Esau, though, because Esau is the reason why we are how why why this is happening, man. You know what I'm saying? If Esau didn't push out that goddamn GMO food and, and had us eating messed up. Then maybe we wouldn't we wouldn't look like this. But at the same time, see, at the same time, there's always a balance with that. Because at the same time, you're not forced to eat like shit. Okay, that stuff may be out there. You could walk past the you could walk past the Pepsi's and shit like that. That's the freedom, somewhat a freedom that we do have. At least that we're not forced to pick up pizzas and subs and shit like that. That's you eat that because you want to. Okay. You're not forced to eat that, right? You're not forced to eat pork. You're not forced to eat crabs, but you don't have to eat pork to get this damn big, man. You're not forced to throw down a whole box of goddamn tasty cakes, man. Okay? You're not forced to do none of that stuff, man. 
So to some degree, it still goes by choice, but those are also demons too. And, the, and, and, and again, it goes towards our curses. We won't, we're going to be like that. We're full of greed and gluttony. You know what I'm saying? Gluttony. You know what I'm saying? Selfishness. Adultery and all this other craziness that we're going through, man. Right? The people of God are not going to be looked at as the people of God. They're, be going, they're going to be looked at like this, as like an astonishment. That is starting with, so like, that is starting with the men that's out there pushing, man, with the garments. That's starting with us, man. Then it goes down to them. Because right now we look worse than he do to the to the world. See, people will accept that. Jake, we we will not. If we see a Jake come out like this, man, to the camp. You ain't gonna see him on camera. I tell you that much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because he'll already be gotten rid of. You're supposed to accept. We're not accepting shit like this, man. Right? We're not accepting anything like that. See. You got these people out there that say, well, well, God looks at the, the inward and not the outward. You know, there's so many ways you can you can you can counter that, man. Just by simple questions before you even get to the scriptures. We know the scriptures is everything, but just by simple questions. Well, uh, why did the Lord always have why do we always have a, if a, a certain look? The Lord told us not to do certain things and what to wear, what not to wear. And the Christians pull that out all the time. So if that's the case, and the Lord don't look at the outward, why did he tell, why did he say what a man and a woman should wear? What a man should do and what a woman shouldn't do. Right? You are not going to be coming to, to the congregation looking like this. You could be big or whatever, but you are not going to be wearing anything like that. Your stomach all out and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And even if you are this big, we would, we would, we would help you out with that, man. There's a few big brothers, man. But we but we would help out. You know what I'm saying? If you love your brother, you wouldn't let him go on his life like that, man. Because when you do this, when you're this fat, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just being straight up, man. When you're this fat, you're killing yourself. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't, that might, might get flagged by saying that. You're, you're on your way to death, right? When you're this fat, you're on your way to death. And if nobody cares about you, they're going to just let you go on, let you feed yourself. You know what I'm saying? Instead of instead of helping you out now, after a certain point, and you still don't want to accept the help, then it is what it is. That person is not responsible. You know what I'm saying? But this is how we're going to be looked at among all nations. So you got the other nations looking at stuff like this. Like, man, look at these big niggas, man. But at the same time, you other nations can't talk either, man. Because when y'all get big, y'all are way worse than this, man. Y'all are way worse than that. Whatever his weight is, you know what I'm saying? If if you got an Edomite, you put an Edomite, uh, that's his weight, right? You you see how much worse that Edomite going to look, man. Big ass Edomites, right? So anyway. So again, all you got to do is look at, you know, who got punished all the time, right? For, uh, for uh, disobeying the Lord, right? The curses, you know what I'm saying, and, and it shows you who the curses go apply to. So you look at before and you look at today. Who is who is looked at as the worst creatures on this planet, man? You know what I'm saying? The people over there in Israel are not looked at as the worst creatures on the planet. In fact, everybody praises them as the real people of God. Even our people say that they they are the, they are the people of God. Because if you're saying that we're not, you're saying that they are. And we're telling you that according to the Bible, they are not the people of God. Nothing about them adds up. Them being over there, just them simply just being over there doesn't add up. It just don't. Because we would be scattered. See, what you got over here is like goddamn converts. You know what I'm saying? Mainly. That's what you got over here. And they're Americanized. Them devils over there just simply being over there. They don't belong there. They were placed there. Because what the hell were they before 48? What the hell were they be before that time? Right? What were they in the early on in, in like the, the like 19 and the late 1800s? What who, who was there? Who was there? 1897, 1898, 1899. 1900. Who was there? 
before the 1900s, who was there? What were they? Right? Anyway, Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 20. Then will I pluck them up. That them, obviously, is talking about Israel. You can read up just to see. I mean, it's, it's right there. Um, so like it. Let me read verse 19. But if ye turn away and forsake my statutes and my commandments, which I have set before you, and shall go and serve other gods and worship them, then will I pluck them up by the roots out of out of my land, which I have given them, all right, and this house, which I have sanctified for my name, will I cast out of my sight, okay? It says, and will make it will make it to be a proverb and a byword among all nations. Now, a house, when you talk about the house, you talk about the house of Israel, you're talking about the entirety of the nation, okay? Now, this, again, this happened physically, and this happened in a day, and this is how you can tell the two, okay? This is how you can tell who the loss was given to, right? Everybody knows that black people are the worst creatures on the planet. No matter how, I don't care if you don't want to agree to, you know what I'm saying, admit it or not. Black people are the worst, so-called black people are the worst creatures on the planet, right? They, I was black, Latino, and Native American, let me say that, because they, we all go through the same shit, man, right? This is why they keep, they keep separating us when it cut, like when they came to that damn C virus shit, they said that, oh, uh, the black and Latino community, uh, the black and Latino communities, they, they're, they're getting it worse. They're getting it more. You see, you notice how they always, they always equate us to with each other because them devils know this is why they do what they do to us, man. Black, Latino, Native American. They know that right now we the worst. We're the degenerate plant. Look at this, man. Does this look like a holy man to you? You know what I'm saying? Does this look like a holy nation? Of, uh, uh, you know, a holy nation of people to you? It just look like a fat, sloppy ass nigga, man. Right? That's what it looked like. We 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 are the people that have other nations in our communities, and they get along with each other, but we can't. Because if we set up a store. In our so-called communities, you know what's going to happen. But these devils, and I mean the other nations like Arabs and Indians and whoever else, they can come up here, uh, uh, Moabites, they can all come up in your communities, open up shop and, and sit there for generations upon generations upon generations. Because don't, don't, nobody, don't nobody mess with them. And, and also, they get along with each other too. We don't. You know what I'm saying? You have a family business. There's going to be a beef in your family, man. Like, well, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to be behind money. There's going to be a beef in your in your family or off, you know, over that. Because the Lord is constantly showing that we are under the curses. What woman on the planet, what, what woman right now, what, what group of women are getting the most abortions? It's simple, right? It says, and this house, which is high, shall be an astonishment to everyone that passeth by it, so that he shall say, why have the Lord done thus, right, unto this land and unto this house? And it shall be answered because they, forsake, they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them forth out of the land of Egypt and laid hold on, on other gods, and worship them and serve them therefore have he brought all this evil upon them right so pretty self-explanatory scripture right so there you have it man right the lord punished israel every time we went off man and this is when you see the see this is the result man of us not of us being a that degenerate plant right we were a noble vine, man. And, you know, whether you want to believe it or not, yes, we still are. We're under a curse, right? We're under a serious curse. Okay? Let me get um last scripture, okay? Uh, First Kings chapter 9, verse... Yeah, verse... I want to start at... Yeah, I'm going to start at verse 7. Why not? 
It says, then will I cut off Israel, right, out of the land which I have given them, right? And, and this house, this house, which I have hallowed for my name, hallowed be thy name, right? <laughs> hey, look, man, all throughout the scriptures, all that, the, the, the Bible proves who the, people, who the people of God are, man. Okay? It says, well, I cast out of my sight. He cast us out of his sight, man. He said, man, get the hell away from me, man, right? He said, and Israel shall be a proverb and a byword among all people. Do you know what a do you do you know exactly what a proverb and a byword is? This right here. Then you got then you got uh like sexy reds and shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Those are proverbs and bywords and astonishments. An astonishment is an absolute appallment, man. Right? Appallment, a horror. You look at the other translations. He said who, how the, how the is, children of Israel is going to be looked at. Murderers, gangbangers, drug dealers, all this other shit. All you, guys, all you got to do is come to Baltimore, man. You know what I'm saying? But that's, a, that's the entirety of Maryland, man. I, I, don't like, I don't like that whole, you know, Baltimore got this and Chicago got that and uh, New Jersey got this and New York got that. All of America is wicked as shit, man. I get tired of hearing that shit, man. All of America is wicked. And if you were in the truth saying that, oh, well, Baltimore got this and Chicago got that and L.A. got this and New York got that, then you then you are slow, man. You, you're, you're, you're still back in the world. If you know any better, this entire world is going to have to be reset, man. Not just Chicago, not just Baltimore, not just New York, not just L.A., not just Georgia, Atlanta, Memphis and all them, man. Now, it ain't just them, okay? It's not just them. All of the entire world has to be reset, but this bitch, America, has to be destroyed, man, okay? It's not specific states in, in America that's going to be destroyed. It's all of America, man, okay? It's all of America. Guess what? You know what I'm saying? I, go, I, I went from, we went from Baltimore. I remember going to Alabama quite a few times, man, and guess what? I go through the same shit down there, man. Everybody keeps talking about the, uh, one state is better than the other. You go to one state, you get killed up there. You get New York, you get New Yorkers come down here and get killed, man. You get Baltimoreans go go up New York and get killed. You got Chicago, you know what I'm saying? People from Chicago come over here and get killed. You got people from here go over there, Chicago get killed. It don't matter where you go at, man. It don't know. It don't matter where you go at. All of America has to be destroyed because all of Israel is messed up as a nation, man. Not just niggas in New York, not just niggas in, in Baltimore, not just niggas in Chicago, Georgia, Atlanta, and shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just them Philly. That's another one that I keep hearing about, man. Right? It ain't just them. America, niggas in America, niggas all over got to be destroyed, man. No matter what the hell they look like, no matter if, if it's a nigga look, like, look Chinese, man. He has to be destroyed because he's a two-third. If he don't wake up, man, it's a, it's a two-third. Okay? You got to be destroyed. This place got to be cleansed, man. Right? Again, it's showing you who the hell the people are, man. Who the hell the people of God is, man. And the people of God are going to be looked at as pieces of garbage. They're going to be looked at as an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. Those people over there in Israel, everybody's praising them to be the people of God. So it obviously can't be them. And the people of God is going to be scattered. The people, when the people of God get in there, get in the land, that's when peace is going to be established on earth. This is when you're not going to be seeing this shit. Because this is going to be looked at as an abomination. Okay? In the kingdom of heaven. But it ain't you can't you it's it, it's going to be impossible to get like that in the kingdom of heaven because the food's going to be all right. Okay. Anyway, verse nine. I said like a verse eight. It says, "And at this house which is high, every one that passeth by it shall be astonished, and shall hiss, and they shall say, Why have the Lord done thus unto this land?" And to this house, to this house, right? Again, this is what we read in Chronicles. When you read Kings and Chronicles, we crank, Chronicles is time. Chronos, that's where you get Chronos from. Time. So it just, it just kind of, 
you know, goes over. That's why I say Chronicle. It kind of goes over the Chronicles of the Kings. Okay. Um, you look at the story like a like a reflection almost. It says, um, this is verse nine. It says, and they shall answer because they forsook the Lord their God, who brought their fathers out of the land of Egypt. Okay, and they have taken. Okay, and have taken hold upon other gods and have worshipped them and served them. Therefore, have the, have the Lord brought evil. So like it, uh, the Lord brought upon them all this evil. So that's that's a that's a you know that's it on that man. You know what I'm saying? There's not very much more you you can go on and go in on that. You know what I'm saying? Why it is there's so many other scriptures. Um, all throughout the scriptures, it always talks about Israel and how we got punished and stuff like that. And we need we need redemption. Everybody on this planet don't need redemption, man, because not everybody's going through what we're going through. Not everybody went through what we went through. You got niggas now talking about, damn, man, I didn't know about white slavery. They ain't never teach us that in school. Yeah, there's a reason they didn't, because it don't matter. Right? It don't matter, because they, in the school still lied about that, man, because they didn't, they didn't say that that was torture. Right? Which they, they starting to get rid of slavery in the schools anyway. Let them. That's good. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a shit. Let them. Right? Because we still out there. We going to push it. And who, whoever else, whoever believes, just believes. Whoever don't, the hell with them. We not concerned with everybody, man. So it really don't matter what they do in the school system anymore, man. They think that's really hurting us. They think this, this damn feminist, these, these feminist TV shows and ads and stuff like that is really hurting us. We don't care, man. Because the men and women that's that's made to listen and that's designed to listen is going to get it. If not, then so be it, man. This place, this place is going to be destroyed. We're not fighting for this place, man. We're not fighting to stay here, right? We waiting on the Lord to return so 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 this place can go. We don't give a shit what happens to this place no more, man. Our concern is not what happens to this place anymore. Well, except the structure. <laughs> but what Esau does to you know what I'm saying? It's our job to look out and do videos on it to watch to make sure us. And the people that are watching stay stay informed so they don't be taken by by the, the designs and the, and the devices and stuff like that. Sure, but to really get overly indulged in shit like that, you know what what they do and what they you know what I'm saying what they not teaching and stuff like that, we're not concerned with that because we know what we're teaching. We know what we what we're learning is the truth. We know that, and we know that them. People over there fighting over a land, or, or fighting over a land that's that's not theirs. A brother had sent out a uh, <laughs> a, a screenshot. It was a it was a a, a a photo. It was in our group chat, and uh, it was a billboard. It was a picture of a billboard. He said, "Hamas is your problem too." Yeah, they yeah. You want to know what that problem? You want to know what my problem is with them? They're over there, and they need to leave. Right, but the Lord's gonna kick their asses out, man. Because right now, I don't want that land. I'm going to be honest with you. Right now, I don't want it. It's defiled. You're going over there just to see them devils over you and your land? Hell no. That's worse than being here. You know what I'm saying? We know we're walking on stolen land. But that's worse than being here, man. Because that's our whole, that's our land. So, yeah. Hamas is our problem. My problem is them being over there and just, just simply being over there. Right? But the goddamn Palestinians too, man. Both of them are pieces of shit, man. Fuck them. I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you stand with Israel. You know, another ad had popped up with them them sob, sad stories and sob, sobby uh, ads and shit. You know, showing the destruction and everything. Man, that's what you heathens get, man. That's what you heathens get. That's still not on the level of what we went through. Of what we, what we have went through and what we're going through now. Right? Y'all can still speak y'all language. We can't. We're speaking English because it was beaten out of us, man. You could call yourself, you're y'all the ones that could that could still call yourself Palestinian and Israeli. We calling ourselves African American, nigga, Negro, black, and everything else, man. Y'all could sell it, y'all can worship your gods and your your and your deities. We don't have shit to worship, man. We worshiping everybody else's. Every time you turn around, you got some nigga believing he a Egypt, Egypt, uh, uh, Egyptian. You got some niggas thinking that they Arabs. You know what I'm saying? 
and that, and that goddamn Muslim shit. You got some niggas thinking that they Catholics and stuff like that, man. Then you got this Christianity, which came from who? Esau. Which all of them pretty much came from, you know what I'm saying, came from a form of Esau. Which he, he kind of took, and you know. Because Christianity is has spread throughout the world. And every religion has a form of Christianity. I don't care what you believe in, man. Every 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 religion has a form of Christianity. This is why they combined uh, Christianity and, and, and Islam and made it Chrislam. Because they, they're too much alike. But this is further proven who the who the real people of God are, man. Okay. So anyway, that's all I got on this, man. Pretty, uh, giving all praise, honor, glory to you. How about Shemel Shalom?